church has been infiltrated. I repeat these words, the church has been infiltrated. Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. This is the year of mercy as designated by the Holy Father and as such, we should each and all be contemplating the great mercy our Heavenly Father has shown to us. For example, for those of us baptized into the Catholic faith as small children or babies, we didn't do anything to merit that great mercy. It was mercy, pure and simple. Through that mercy, we have been able to receive the body and blood of our blessed Lord, have forgiveness for our sins, and be joined to the church militant with the great hope of being forever assumed into the church triumphant. How great is the mercy of God indeed. It is so overwhelming to consider at times that you almost have to pull away your thoughts because it is that magnificent. If something can be too magnificent to contemplate, then the mercy of God would be it. This is why we here at Church Militant and our sister organization, St. Michael's Media, are continually pointing to the evils in the church because, precisely because, these evils prevent so many from recognizing the glory of God's mercy. Wicked men in high places, intentionally or not, doesn't matter right now in this vortex, are a source of continual scandal of inflicting damage on the body of Christ. They seemingly make careers out of harming her, of degrading her and debasing her. She is the most beautiful of all things, beautiful, and they treat her beyond despicable. The apprehension in the mind, in the soul of her magnificence, of her beauty and her truth and her goodness has no compare on this earth. Catholics are duty-bound to fall in love with the Bride of Christ for every breath we take to be filled with her sweetness. One day in your courts, is better than a thousand elsewhere. How truly did David speak when he wrote that line? This is why every Catholic worth his weight in salt and charity must resist with every ounce of power he or she has when others are deprived of this beauty and goodness. Resistance is not futile. It is necessary interiorly and exteriorly. Love of souls must be our motivation, our constant motivation, because it is the motivation of Holy Mother Church, who through the ages endures all for her children to accomplish their salvation. This means that we must become saints, living saints, and we must aim for this every day without fail. Pray for sanctity, pray for holiness, pray, pray, pray that our blessed Lord hide you in his sacred wounds and protect you from the attacks of the enemy. Pray incessantly to our Blessed Mother that she wrap her mantle around you and nourish you with the milk of her glory as the immaculately conceived Mother of God assumed body and soul into heaven. Pray to heaven to preserve you from all spiritual catastrophe and save you into life eternal. Resistance against evil is the theme of this year's retreat at sea, our fourth annual retreat, setting off from California in exactly two months from today. Aside from splendid land tours of some missions, specifically Mission San Diego, founded by recently canonized Saint Father Junipero Serra, this year's retreat will have a very heavy focus on the 51st Psalm. It's the Psalm that David composed after his sin with Bathsheba had been revealed. It is a pleading for mercy, but not just for forgiveness, but to be restored and lifted even above his former state so that he may bring sinners back to God to help them understand the bountiful mercy of the God of the universe. The first words of the psalm flow with an appeal for mercy. Have mercy on me, God, in your goodness. Without God's mercy, we're nothing. And all we have to do is just ask for it. And once we have it, we are called to fall in love with the Almighty, to care nothing about anything else. We're inviting you to come on this year's Retreat at Sea. Details are available by simply clicking on the link and fortify yourself with hundreds of other like-minded Catholics who want to bask in the thought of God's mercy, to contemplate His goodness to us. It's from the overflowing of the mercy of God in our lives that gives us the fortitude and desire to go out and fight the evils that need to be fought, need to be resisted, especially in the church. This is serious business. 
We're fighting for the eternal lives of souls, every single one of us, our own first and all those whom we love and care about. But the fight can be draining. It can become its own world. And this is why our blessed Lord even says, come away and rest. We've had somewhere around 650 retreatants these past three years and have more than 100 signed up so far this year. It's never bad to be Catholic with other Catholics. It's a great joy. We have that around the apostolate all the time, and the happiness of knowing that we're all together in the battle, fighting for the fight of Holy Mother Church, is a cause for joy. We know that everyone can't obviously do this full time, so to speak, but we're happy to help create an environment where you can experience it as well, even if it is just for a week. We have the talks, of course, but also mass, rosary, devotion, social time, relaxation time, all shared with other people whose sole motivation is to one day look into the eyes of our loving God. I can't think of a better way to spend a week than on our retreat at sea. I hope you'll consider signing up and laying aside a whole week solely for the contemplating of the mercy of God with many others who will be just like you. Please click on the link. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. The download connects all the dots, the news, points of information, and gives you the bigger picture. We're answering the questions that you should be asking. There are fireworks on the show, so tune in every day to watch this. The download is the show where we put the current crisis in the church in context. The show that everyone's going to want to watch on churchmilton.com every day, Monday through Friday.